I can hypothesize that we're attracted to motion because those rustling in the bushes could be a predator that's going to attack us. And when early hominids were traversing the savannas of Africa, you know, any kind of movement in the foreground or in the background could be a potential threat. And so we're attuned to that because we need to decide if we're gonna neutralize it or run away from it. Features of how our brain functions that we have inherited because they proved biologically advantageous in the past, or at least over time, are things that we just deal with. But what's interesting is that we engage these ancient capacities in novel ways. When we learn that the brain is fine-tuned to notice motion wherever it is across its panorama, or across its field of vision, and you realize the origins of that capacity in terms of survival in, in our environment by spotting or neutralizing a th potential threat. And in the cultural context of today, I think that that probably explains the psychological pleasure that people might get from being on the move, being on a journey. There's this notion of like movement against inertia. Movement and momentum, these are things that make us come alive and inertia it makes you feel like you're sitting ready to die. And back in the day, maybe you were. <laughs> you sit still, you get eaten. <laughs>